Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Noting. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna do like a breakdown of this setup. Um, you might have seen something like this um, from the internet, um, like as an animated GIF of like a like a really interesting motion graphic kind of effects. Um, at a glance, it looks really really simple. It's kind of you look at it and then okay. That's probably like a um, like a s displacement map that's kind of a uh, moving, um, kind of swimming through an object. Um, yes, that's kind of right. That's kind of one of the one of the effects that's happening here. But you, you can see it on top of that you have this line, and the lines kind of swimming through. That's kind of a uh, that's actually can be quite complex and um, if you think about it um, this might be just lines that's being projected projected into a moving um, moving mesh that's being displayed so it's like a multiple layer of stuff that's why um, I say it's, it's slightly complex so if I show you the lines if I reduce the complexity you a little bit by a little bit you will start to see how um, I accomplish this kind of effect so first of all let's display the plane okay so so we have the swimming the swimming texture effects um, that you already know is uh, so I'm just using a uh, uh, subdivision surface here to get uh, more resolutions and then I underneath of that we have on top of that I have this um, displace modifier with a texture that's um, kind of swimming controlled by the empty you've seen that many many times already so that's a swimming surface but on top of that, I'm using the raycast node somewhere here that's kind of projecting lines. Okay, so the lines being projected into the surface. But on top of that also, I have the lines kind of moving in, uh, in that direction, in the positive y directions. And the line actually kind of... Uh, Kind of doing this kind of loop like a endless loop so how many lines we have one um, let me count it I have 19 lines at the moment it's a uh, being controlled by probably one of these um, if I play back the animations and then start playing with the number you will see now now you start to see this is like a one two three four five six seven eight nine how many lines is this anyway the lines kind of um, doing this kind of loop and that's because of the modulo that we have right here uh, the modulo of uh, 10 frames gonna repeat itself and we also have this um, multiplier for for the time itself that's actually being offset by range float so it's a there's a lot of uh, complex thing happening here but the idea is of course we start with a line I start with a line here and the lines kind of being uh, duplicated by the multiple matrices and the multiple multiple matrices happens because I use an offset on the in here see there's a time if I just use a single time okay it's gonna make everything really more clear that's a single time kind of moving the line over our surface 
that's our surface and sometimes because we are projecting the line sometimes the line is outside of the boundary that's why it disappeared at the moment now but now the lines showing up okay that's a single line I get the multiple lines because I have this kind of a I have this range float by adding range float which is um, if I use this stethoscope now I have like 11 float number by adding those together range float and the uh, frame I get a multiple numbers multiple frame numbers okay so it is kind of offsetting the uh, the frame if you are using um, actually multiple time plug into this guy and being multiplied now we have bunch of lines and if we set the number correctly we can have like the lines that's uh, kind of looping through maybe I should make this positive number now the line is moving that way in the positive y while the texture is moving in the negative y now we have this kind of a um, multi-layered complexity that's uh, kind of working together this is why I found this effect is very uh, interesting it looks simple but there's a lot of uh, layered complexity that you might not think before like I, I figured this out okay so that's how um, we can achieve something like this and then if you hide all this we hide the moving planes the line being projected and then we hide the points of the lines we have this this is kind of nice effects almost like um, um, similar to kind of a audio wave um, visualizations can okay, um, I believe I can have more lines here if I increase the count I might need to adjust the multiplier here um, yes something like that there's a there's the right numbers that making everything happens correctly um, actually I'm using modulo as well here with the frame kind of pushing the line and with the modulo once it reaches the this uh, modulo 10 when it once it reaches the the frame certain frame number it goes back to the beginning that's why modulo is very useful to do that that kind of loop okay so with the line and then there's this number that's kind of connected to the list split this kind of a this is more like a touch up to get the lines happening again because in here we have a, like a multiple lines coming out because of the matrix apply and then we use UV connections and we have this uh, multiple data and I have list join here kind of combining everything again if I want to kind of randomize the lines this is also possible then this will add more to the complexity so if I originally I'd, I wasn't thinking to create lines I just want to have the points so it, it was looking like this this is as if the imagine like lots of points being projected into a moving surface and then it's also kind of running all these lines kind of running through 
um, if I reduce the number really quick see it's like it's almost like particles swimming through from one side and then looping to the to the other side so it's like a almost like a particles if we imagine it's like a crowd simulations this is um, this is how you might achieve that it's very interesting effects yeah I think this could work as a crowd simulations if they are just moving towards the camera like a maybe like a bugs or insects moving through the surface lots of them but I wanted to have like a lines effect so that's why we have this uh, list split stuff and we have list join and list split that's um, it's a spare chalk thing but if everything works you get line um, currently the lines kind of there's one there's a couple of points that outside of the boundary that's why it's doing that other than that this should work um, properly Sign. okay that's that's better so yeah like like I said this is not it's not that simple but you get this these interesting effects and if you actually if you love this down and then you get this kind of interesting surface like that like a multiple kind of surface quite unusual And you can kind of stare at this like uh, for a long time because it looks like ah it's, yeah maybe I should loft it and get a like a surface. Anyway, I'll I'm gonna save this as a GIS and I'm gonna share it online with you guys um, to have a look. Um, yep, that's pretty much it for this live coding. I'll if you have any question feedbacks. You can or any idea you can give it to me um, yeah I'll see you in the next 